This video covers from the 8th to the 15th of March 2024. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Once again, there hasn't been a lot of news this week, which has to be a good thing, as we've had far too many weeks of the same news over and over. The floods, the weather alerts, the storms, and the stories which are never nice to have to mention. The holiday season started this week for a lot of places. So if they've posted online that they've just opened and I've spotted the post, I'll tell you about those. And there's several events that have just been announced online as well. So I'm going to tell you about those too. It's just something different. This past week, the car park here has been very busy with fishermen catching as many fish as possible before the end of the fishing season. The Broads Authority have been accused of pettiness after pulling out of a 10-year agreement to distribute leaflets for a boating organisation after a row between the two. If you would like to know more details about this story, the link can be found in the write-up for this video. It's a rather long article, so it's probably best you read it for yourselves. Broads Tours have announced that from the 28th of March, their river trips will be running seven days a week. Last month, a tree fell into the River Yare. Part of it was cleared, initially but still two-thirds of the river is blocked. More erosion has happened at Hemsby Beach and there's now a, an 11 foot drop down onto the beach. Phoenix Craft at Potter Heim say the flooding has receded and they are now open again for dayboat hire. The Broads Authority have recently announced this year's public events programme. There are nature walks and a foraging trip, solstice and dawn walks, plus a five mile walk along the River Waveney. There's also a bat spotting walk, a guided mushroom hunt and a boot and boat trip. I can't find the original post for this because obviously there are so many uh, events posted but this is a trip from um, the Fisherman's Inn at Borough Castle up to Burnie Arms and back with the Broads Rangers on the boat. But that is all the details I can remember and it's the 1st of June and there's another date. On the 24th of July at Bath Hills there is a guided ranger walk and that's in Bungie. The Broads Authority have announced that from the 23rd of March, their tourist information centres and yacht stations will be open for the summer season. Not until the end of September, but Howe Hill Dark Sky Adventure. 28th of September. I never knew the Broads Authority ran so many events. How I've missed this previous years, I don't know. The Broads Authority is hosting an event at Howe Hill. Broad Wild Afternoon Tea is on Saturday the 15th of June at 1pm. On the 16th of March, the Broads Authority has an easy access Barton Broad Night Exploration event. You can buy tickets for this event on the eventbrite.com website. Although some of these events may not be until a couple of months' time, if I leave it until then, I'll probably forget where I found the information or the tickets will have sold out. So it's probably better to tell you about them as I see them. A swan brought the traffic to a halt in Potter Heim during the week. It stood in the road for ages before a member of the public moved it away from danger. The Dunes River Cafe at Acle Bridge will be opening again for the season on Monday the 25th of March. The BBC has made a programme about the people keeping our historic foot ferries afloat. Read them 
and Horning Ferries both get a mention. The links for all these articles are listed in the write-up to go with this video. Some of the people in Stalham feel the town is dying on its feet. They feel the community has been neglected and is struggling with a declining high street and a rise in crime. Wherry Maud was built in Reedham 125 years ago. If you would like to attend Maud's 125th anniversary celebration, it's on the 20th of April at 2.30, Upton Boat Dyke. The Nancy Oldfield Trust are offering anyone with a cancer diagnosis or anyone receiving palliative care an opportunity to spend some time with family and friends afloat. This is a free trip. For further information, contact the Nancy Oldfield Trust directly via the email address I've written on the screen for you. The big shop on Womack Stave has reopened and is open from 8am till 4pm. The water point on the Stave is still off until Easter, but if you ask them in the shop, you can use theirs, but make sure you ask first. Great Yarmouth Heliport are looking for ground crew volunteers to help with their vintage flights. It's just six weeks since the Herring Bridge opened and it's broken down again. And now it appears it's going to be shut indefinitely until it can be repaired properly. I'm back at Ludham. Before I showed you the different events that are on, I did actually show you this boat. It's pole to pole. There was an awful noise as it came through the bridge and it looks like it might have caught the canopy. I know they follow my channel. I hope you're okay and I hope your canopy and boat are okay. The swans have been pecking on the back of the boat. So the gentleman has just come to the back of the boat and he's feeding them. He got the memo. He understood what he had to do. There are several cruisers out on the river this week. So chances are, if you went through Ludden Bridge, you may well be about to appear on video. If you do, let us all know in the comments below. I hope you had a wonderful time. I do enjoy filming the cruisers when they go past but there's just something about watching work boats and seeing what they get up to working on the river and no matter where you go on the broads there is always work going on and i know that you will enjoy watching this type of content as well as you enjoy the cruisers going past but I get a lot of messages from you or comments on the videos when I include the workboats, so that's why I continue to do so. So let's just sit and watch them loading these bags onto the boat, shall we?
in case anyone wonders why I'm always here filming. Although I do go to other places, waiting in the wings for you, I have a video from Barton Broad and there were so many boats all at the same time, that was just brilliant to watch. So that's waiting to go out. I've got Hickam Broad, there's another one from Reedham Riverside. But I was saying why I film here a lot, because when I film anywhere else, everybody says, oh, I thought you would have been at Ludden Bridge. We like watching there. So I do go to other places, but what that really translates to is the other places doesn't have the drama like you get here at Ludden Bridge. That's what you will want to see, I know. And of course, it isn't just people who holiday here that watch these videos. I have people from around the world. You often see Mario, who watches from Portugal. You see him in the comments. Hello, Mario. My friend has been sending the links to her friend in Australia. Hello to you. He's been watching and he particularly likes listening to the British accent, apparently. So I'm going to try and capture more of that of people passing by. So people do watch, oh, and people from Germany, they come here to Ludden Bridge and they watch. So we need to remember that I'm filming everything that happens here so that people in other countries who watch get to see what goes on in this wonderful place of the Norfolk Broads in the east of England. So thank you, everybody. Perhaps you'd like to say in the comments where you're watching from. That would be nice. That just gave me an idea. So I went across to my analytics just to have a look and see my top four countries. Well, top five. Most views come from the United Kingdom. Then it's America, Australia, Ireland and Canada. Isn't that amazing? Thank you to everybody around the world who watches. That's amazing. Now they've got a boat and they're putting that in the water. So what's happening with that? I think I'm far too nosy, really. It just fascinates me, it really does. I'm not sure what the people think that I film them. I think they probably think I'm health and safety or something similar. But really, I'm not. I just love watching what goes on. As simple as that. I bet this is why there's so many fishermen along the river, so they can all watch what happens on the river. And this fishing is just a cover. <laughs> Eight foot clearance at the bridge now at Ladham. I felt so sorry for the people on this boat. It's quite windy and the wind was pushing them away from the bank. But luckily there was a gentleman walking back to his boat and he came to their rescue and helped them out.
So the people on this cruise are, are obviously either highly skilled and know exactly what they're doing or it was just sheer luck. Let me know what you think. It could be classed as a near miss <laughs> or as I say they're highly skilled. It's wonderful to have the cruisers back and to think just a short time ago I'd be lucky if one cruiser would go past in all the time I sat here and now there's so many it's brilliant. If there's someone unsure of what they should be doing, there's always somebody from another boat who will go and help them and show them various different things. I mean, they probably just pick their cruiser up. looks like that's it for my filming today as I can no longer see what's happening <laughs> thank you all for watching I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have as always please can you give it a like for me as this helps my channel grow I know you hear everybody say it on all the videos that go out but it is true thank you for watching have a wonderful weekend and I'll be back on Sunday with a new video for you. Bye for now.